What's up everybody? B-Boy Spaz here again and Happy New Year's Eve. Um, it's about to be 2010. Everything's looking cool, so but pretty much I want to thank you all real quick for you know staying up on my videos and all the subscriptions. Um, you know, I'm really trying to keep up with all the stuff and even though I'm busy, give you guys some videos and help you out on beat making and whatnot. So like I said before in one of my other videos, I was gonna do some beat critiques. So we'll go ahead and do a couple of those real quick. Um, try not to take too long on it. Put on my trusty headphones here so I can hear it a little bit better too. Make sure it's not too loud for my ears. And we're going to start out actually with Eastwood. He sent me a little sample here. So let's take a listen real quick and then I'll give my critique. So yeah, this is pretty solid actually. Um, the only things I would say about it are like, the sample is fine, but the the bass is sounds like it's really heavy and kind of all over the mix. And I would want the drums to stand out a little bit more. But other than that, this this track is pretty straight actually. Got one of those like old school sample type feels going on. Also too with the um the filtering part that you're doing here, it's almost two filters so there's like nothing going on or either there needs to be like more drum stuff. But other than that like panning's good, sampling's good, it's pretty on point. So that's a little beat by Eastwood 003. Now let's move on to uh, Diggler. He did this one right here, this Horns For Ya sample. Um, also keep in mind he said that he just started and was mainly working on the sample itself. Not really adding too much more to it so listen to this real quick too. So, the only thing I would say about this is, um, the mix isn't too bad, but it sounds like you took two samples and put them on top of each other, and they work except for at one part, the first chord that comes in, they don't match up enough, and it, for someone who has like a musical ear, it just sounds nasty. Um, so that would be the only thing that's bad about this. Yeah, that first chord. This one's fine, but then the, and it's like a major minor chord sitting on top of each other and that just doesn't work unless you only play certain notes and that's a whole other story in theory. But other than that, that's pretty straight actually. Um, you said this was your first hip hop beat, so that's not bad at all, dude. Um, stay on it, cause that's, yeah. I might have to go back and find one of my first like hip hop tracks and see what y'all think. <laughs> um, let's do one real quick by Julius Rocks. Um, if you all see this website here, he has a bunch of different beats lined up. So I'm not going to play all of them, but I would like to make some comments about his beats. Um, I like what you're doing with your stuff. And it's really cool how it like has a feel of old school hip hop breakdancey type stuff and like electronic music all in one little package, but it's still hip hop, it's really nice. Um, so keep that up. And I think there were two tracks in there I really just wanted to showcase. There was one like in the middle somewhere here. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. Cause this can go anywhere from like, I don't know, like an R&B, like upbeat R&B track, or like an upbeat breakdancing hip hop type track. I 
to work on is like cleaning up your mixes. Like there's a lot of low end nastiness, just mess, and there's too much. And you know when you're EQing, you want to kind of separate your sounds so that they don't sit on top of each other, frequency wise. So if there's just a whole bunch of bass stuff that's just clouding up, it's gonna sound bad. Um, so that's the only thing I would work on on your stuff. This beat on the end here is nasty too. <laughs> Yo, I got to the end, I was like, what is this? <laughs> and then we have this one beat by Real Keen Productions. This is pretty much a full track. So we're not going to have time to play the whole thing, but um, this is actually a great track. Everything went together well. Um, great production. The only thing you need to work on yet again is mixing. The vocals sound good, but they could sound better mix-wise. Um, and I'll probably do a couple of like vocal tutorials too, like even if you're just at home and all you got is like an SM58, like what you can do to make it sound good, what kind of practices will really get you decent sounding vocals. Um, yeah, this is a good track too, dude. Yet again, guys, thanks. Subscribe to the page. If you would like any of your beats critiqued or you have questions about anything or a track you have, um, send it my way. I'll try and get back to you either here on YouTube or I'll actually make a video. Um, also, for all the other watchers, if you want to like leave comments for the guys who I critiqued, go ahead. Like Put your two cents in, too. Um, it only helps someone get better making beats if they have people letting them know what they think about it. Um, Anyways, though, subscribe to the page. Um, don't have too wild of a night because, you know, it's about to be New Year's, so got to do it up. And 2010 is going to be awesome, so stay up on it. All right, peace.